this is I'll fix it. I'll fix it here, and I'm going to show you how I I fixed my uh, anti siphon valve for the sprinklers. I also fixed up this hose bib, and uh, stick around. I'll show you how I did all this. All right. First thing is, hey, let's turn off the sprinkler valve, uh, the sprinklers. Then we'll go out here in the yard and you'll see where the problem is. Look at that thing leaking like crazy and it's been uh, driving up the water bill and and it's just a mess. So let's get this taken care of. We're going to fix that hose bib too but look inside here now. Look at that. It's all flooded. It's a big mess too. Everything's a big mess. Let's make it a bigger mess. Dig it all up. That's what we got to do. We'll get this uh, all dug up here. And I have the new valve and some new fittings and things ready. So let's go turn off the water. So to do that, you're going to need a couple of tools here. Something to pry the lid off. And a big old crescent wrench to turn the valve. In my place, that was right out front here. And uh, that's where you pry off the lid and inside there you got a meter and then right next to the meter you have a valve and we just need to turn that valve a quarter of a turn big old crest wrench of some sort and if you turn it too far it turns it back on again so just turn it a quarter of a turn either direction is the way mine works. Now let's go over here and start kicking things apart. We can cut this old stuff off of here. You can see I'm using a angle grinder with a metal cutoff blade. I'm quite certain it's not made to do uh, PVC pipe, but it works fine. And you could cut this pipe with a uh, handsaw or a hacksaw. You could cut it with a lot of different things. It's pretty easy to cut. So after we get it uh, fitted up here with... Uh, I just keep pre-fitting things to make sure that I'm uh, cutting the little pieces properly and that it's all going to go together the way I want it to. And then we can start gluing things. So I use probably too much glue and get it all over the place and uh, you'll see <laughs> pretty soon I even spill most of my glue. Look at how fast I move. I'm actually really slow so it's funny to see me going so fast. But anyways, uh, you'll see also I'm marking little marks sometimes here. Um, that's so that when you take it back apart to put the glue in, then you put it back together again, you know uh, what angle you had. So I put this little mark on there. Now, if you put the mark at the end of the pipe, then you're gonna cover up the mark with glue and it won't help you. So just move it back a little ways. And, uh, and that little mark can help a lot. All right, almost got this. We are just about back together. Now let's tackle this other thing. We get this hose bib mess. Always feels like it's going to break off. It's It goes away from the house. So I thought when I dig uh, it up uh, like this, it would uh, go back against the house. But it didn't. It won't uh, do that. So I have an answer for that. I will cut it off, raise it up, and attach it to the house so that it can't move. So we'll turn off the water to it right here. And we'll get started and we'll cut that one off. While we're, while we're doing things here, we'll fix everything up really nice. We just put a nipple on there, extend it up a little ways. Alright, uh, 
that's a much nicer height. We'll put this wood behind here and then we're going to see uh, we got to find a stud back there in the wall hopefully uh, where we can screw the screws in through the wood and hit a stud that'll make it nice and sturdy and there you have it now look how nice that looks there was a big problem though this is not the right kind of a anti-siphon valve to buy because only after a couple months then uh, this is what happened look at that mess we get water running worse than ever coming out of that valve so I had to go buy another one you know this one was only like ten or twenty dollars and the metal kind I think they're like sixty dollars and uh, apparently it's worthwhile getting the metal one so here I go again we're gonna dig this all out only after two or three months do this job again so uh, I'm gonna cut it with a hacksaw this time it uh, pretty easy stuff to cut I'm gonna keep this on pretty high speed here because you just seen me do all this stuff already I'm try not to draw this out too long and make it boring but so we'll just keep it on pretty high speed uh, if you're as sloppy as I am with the glue you might have to do a little scraping and sanding uh, you know just to clean things up a bit and then careful when you tighten these things in here you don't want to strip those threads out that's a pretty big wrench so let's get this thing glued up glue 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 all right it's going along nicely I'm so fast look at that there you go <laughs> wipe off the excess glue and here we go let's try it be sure to wait a little bit and let your glue dry before you actually turn on the water all right this is looking good I had to do it twice but I did it now notice 10 or 20 dollars versus the 60 dollar metal one apparently that's the best thing to do is to go ahead and buy the good one which uh, it will save you a lot of trouble in the long run. So I hope you like this. If you did, give me a like and I'll see you in the next one, okay?